stop the hype Before I flip out like a pocket knife Now talk about me, make sure the topic right Cause I live a poppin' life You can't afford it if you can't cop it twice Just know I'm in my bag like a box of rice We here YouTube, know what it is, regular comic book business, back to it, you in the mix with your Funko Fix, doggy, man, what's happening, everybody, how everybody doing today, hope you guys are doing well, faring even better, hope you guys got a chance to grab everything you wanted to grab, tuck it to your collection, forget about it, and hopefully, hopefully, down the line, look like something, you know what we promote on this channel, guys, collect what you like, and damn, what everybody else talking about, you know why, right? Of course you do because we too busy collecting what we love collect all right let's get into it man today we got comic books on top of comic books on top of goddamn comic books yet again if this is the kind of content you guys enjoy watching please consider like comment subscribe simple all right let's get into these comic books man today you know it's big comic book uh i ain't even gonna say big comic book haul because this is like Maybe a week in the making, a week and a half in the making. You know, I've just been grabbing wild books during this whole course. During the duration of this week and a half that just went by. And I just haven't put up any videos. I was just caught up in the mix, man. Doing a bunch of life stuff. And, um, yeah, I'm back to it, man. So, uh, we got a lot of comic books today. Before I even start, I would like to say, you know... Now that I have a press, right? Now that I actually own a press, I tend to buy books that I normally wouldn't have bought, you know, if I was like back band hunting and stuff like that because of maybe certain imperfections and stuff like that that I wouldn't normally be able to take care of and tend to appropriately on my own. So I always pass them by and they was always super cheap. They could be keys. You know, even, like, I came across some real solid books, but it's just the condition was so bad that I didn't touch them. You know what I'm saying? I'm like a, a, a I'm like, I'm like, what do you call a uh, monk? I'm like monk, man. I'm like, I'm a germic phobe, so if I see dirt, mold on books, stuff like that, I'm, I'm immediately turned off from the book, so I will not purchase a book. So, you know, lately I've been buying... You know, a couple of crinkles here, a couple of dog ears there. And, you know, I just want to share with you guys the books I've been buying, like, just on a whim because I could tighten them up. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I'm practicing is, is tighten up the craft. You know what I'm saying? I'm learning new tricks to the trade. So, that always helps. So, these are just a couple of books. This is here. stacking them right Stacking them right here. And I'll show you guys real quick. We got... We got 243, 243, Marvel Tales, Spider-Man Wolverine. So we got that there. And it has it has a couple of you know pressable defects. It needs a little bit of cleaning. You know, take a little love, tender, tender, tender love and care. Bring them back to his top fit, top shape. Stuff like that. This is another book. Another book. Could use a nice little press cleaning, stuff like that. Simple little things, throw it in a nice little, little mylar or something, you know what I'm saying? Get that shine pop and stuff like that. Yeah, they start looking nice. Avengers right here. West Coast Avengers, number one. New stand. Um, it has issues right here with the staining and stuff like that, water stains. I'm going to see if I can work on that. Um, a friend of mine showed me some tricks to that, so I'm trying them on that book right there. It didn't cost me nothing. That was like a dollar book or something. These are all like dollar bin books. Grab this. This has a couple of issues. This is dark cover, so you're going to see most of the imperfections on this cover. Like ticks and color breaks and stuff like that. But, you know, nonetheless, it's still good for practicing, practicing purposes. And this one as well. Another Marvel Marvel Tales. I've been grabbing a lot of Marvel Tales lately. 
Not only because they're cheap, but they have some of the most amazing covers, man. So, you know, how can you turn that down? And a lot of them I've been finding lately been in pretty good shape. So, you know, you can't pass it by for a couple of bucks, man. A couple of bucks you'd probably spent on some real felonious, nondescript stuff during the course of the day. So why not spend on a comic book that may gain in value and also a dope piece of history. Alright, uh, yeah, those are it right there as far as like comic books I'm gonna work on and tighten up on my spare time. And then we got a bunch of other comic books. We just gonna run them. There's a lot going on today. A lot of comic books. I'm gonna play my little my little music and let it rock out. You already know doggy schedule. Um there's a whole lot of books. So hopefully we can get this done under a half hour. Please, comic gods, under a half hour. Ain't anyway, I've been holding you up too long. I'm going to let y'all go. This is all I got for you today. Stay safe. Stay sucker free. Know what it is. Regular biz back to it. Regular comic book business. Regular Funko Pop business back to it. You in the mix with your Funko Fix doggy, man. Stay safe. Stay sucker free. Know what it is. Doggy. One.
tell you guys get on these now before they heat up I'm telling you this series is amazing I've been reading it and these two right here it's serious business man there ain't nothing to play with you got Jeff Lemire you got yo these they killed this right here Dark Horse Comics man they killed this right here and that's Skull Digger Skull Digger and Skeleton Boy you got, yo, listen, this is a good solid spec for you guys, man. I mean, it's been optioned according to the Key Collectors app, but it's a hell of a story. And this I could actually see coming to the big screen or some kind of animation, something. Because this is tough right here. This is really tough. And we, we got a couple of them. We got the one in, what is it, the 125, the one... I, I forgot the ratios on these, but this one right here is, is janking right now on the secondary market. I was kind of late to the festivities. Like, I mean, I, I've been buying these since day one. But I just recently found out that it had been option that they were going crazy. Like I said before, guys, doggy literally grabs, tucks, and forget I even own these joints right here. And this is one of the good reasons. And hopefully down the line look like something. This is a perfect example right here, guys. Trust me when I tell you. It, it, doggy won't steer you wrong, man. This is how I've been buying for the last, what, five years now. You know what I'm saying? Like, just buying, buying, buying. <laughs> I know it seemed crazy to the most. Most people were like, Doggy been hitting, though. Doggy been hitting crazy. So... No, I can't be doing, like, I'm not doing nothing wrong here, you know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's part of the speculation game, man. This is, this is what we do. If not, I'll be at the casino or I'll be in the hood rolling dice or something, you know what I'm saying? It's getting too dangerous for that nowadays, so, you know, I'd rather stick to these comic books right here, you know? Take my shot in the dark, messing with these comic books, these, this expensive paper. How comic time uh, quotes it, you know what I'm saying, expensive paper, and that's exactly what it is, man. So, hopefully you guys got these. I'm just showing you, I didn't grab these just recently. I've been had these, like, I, I've been grabbing these day one. Out the post and everything, you know what I'm saying? This, I think, I believe this was the last issue that came out. Or this, this is the issue prior to the last issue. So, yeah, and I think I got two more other issues in here somewhere. I just can't find it, literally. You know what I'm saying? And for me to find certain stuff, I have to break down whole sections and areas just to get to one comic book. And, man, it's a meticulous, uh, it's a meticulous hobby, man. You got to stay abreast. You got to always be on top of your, your, your collection, man. And sometimes doggy slacks. But nonetheless, like I said, I'm going to leave y'all to a doggy one. 